Hey YouTube, what is going on? I am back for week number 35 for the Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS Pick of the Days, brought to you by Sakurai. So, we're going to jump right into it. We had a little bit of information given to us uh, Monday through Thursday, but come Friday, we not only got a character reveal, but a lot of awesome information about said character and I will go over all of it and as always if you guys want to join in the discussion leave a comment down below let me know what you like let me know your thoughts opinions whatnot and yeah so let's just get into the first picture of the day so looks like we've got here a classic mode picture and Sakurai says in classic mode you challenge multiple stages and route to a climactic final battle the more gold you put onto the uh, fiend scale, the harder the battles will be. In return, your rewards will be getting better and more abundant. The best way to earn gold fast is to win classic battles on higher intensity. Now, this isn't really anything new. Uh, if you do remember in Brawl, and I'm thinking Melee as well, classic mode or any type of single player mode, the harder the difficulty you put it at to, uh, the higher the payout, uh, especially in Brawl with the whole coin thing, which they were kind of useless then, but uh, not so much anymore. They're actually used for things now, such as buying trophies and various uh, challenge stuff. So, really cool though, uh, seeing that there are easy ways to earn it uh, by playing the game often, which is great. So, uh, yeah. So, not a ton to say about this, but uh, we do see it go up to level 9, similar to a CPU. So, next up. We've got a little bit more about Classic Mode, and Sakurai says, In Classic Mode, you can choose your next challenge on the route map. Looks like Master Hand is waiting at the end, but perhaps something might change if you raise the intensity. Now, of course, Classic Mode uh, in Brawl, I don't quite remember entirely about Melee because I didn't really play Classic Mode there, but uh, in Brawl, you would go through about 8 to 10, I don't quite remember the number, uh, stages, and then at the very end of it all, uh, I believe you would fight Master Hand. Yeah, uh, you would fight Master Hand just like they're doing here. Now, of course, that's pretty straightforward. But on this one, they give you much more of an option uh, to go through it. You can go, you know, your various routes. Looks like one you can go to a Mario character. The other one looks like you can pick up a trophy there. Maybe there's a challenge there. The other looks like you would face Pac-Man. Now. The intensity is at 7, and it says, looks like you, Master Hand is waiting at the end, but something might change if you raise the intensity. Now, something that some people did not know about Brawl, uh, which you probably should have by now, is if you went through Classic Mode on, I believe, Harder or Above, hard, uh, Very Hard or Intense, if you went uh, in Classic Mode on any of those, and you got to Master Hand in... I want to say under 20 minutes, it was something like that, then you would not only face Master Hand, but you would also face Crazy Hand at the same time, and they would do various attacks together. They would clap hands, they would punch together, uh, one would be smacking you down, the other one would be hitting you up. It, it was really cool. Now, I'm assuming that's what this is, and if so, awesome. Really, really cool. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this because Classic Mode has always been pretty fun, and seeing that now you can kind of choose your own path that you go through, uh, I'm definitely liking that. So yeah, next up, we have got another 3DS picture, and Sakurai says, Spectator Mode is available even on the compact 3DS version. In this mode, you can watch players all around the world fight and make bets in-game gold, with in-game gold. Wager wisely by checking out the player's names, rules, win rates, odds, fighters, and stage. So, of course, in Brawl, once again, we did have coins, and you could use them for that ridiculously stupid and pointless coin launcher that nobody liked. Don't lie, don't even say you like that. It was terrible. So, uh, now, of course, in classic mode, we have ways to earn coins. We can gamble on uh, other players with in-game gold, which is also cool. Of course, once again, I'm pretty sure you could do that and make bets in Brawl, but really, who used the coins avidly? Who used them all the time and were like, oh, I need more coins, I want to buy? They were pretty much useless, so uh, really giving us an incentive like this, Sakurai is really thinking about, wow, then maybe that wasn't such a good idea, so he's really expanding on... Uh, the single player aspects and for those who want to complete you know the completionists uh, really cool so definitely looking forward to this feature awesome stuff I'd rather be playing than spectating but if I if I could like search and watch my friend online and see how they're doing that'd be pretty cool I'd definitely 
definitely go ahead and do that. And uh, another thing, Sakurai says, being able to cheer someone on is what really makes spectating matches fun. This time, first and second place will get prizes in four player matches, and spectators can get uh, can bet the goal they win on bonus chances. So, also another cool feature, just another expansion on the uh, last picture saying you can get bonuses uh, for betting on, uh, I guess, certain places. So. Yeah, also, once again, awesome feature, definitely looking forward to it. Now, here we go, we've got a uh, single player minigame, and Sakurai says, A panel in the challenges will unlock every time you clear a stage. When you unlock a panel, you'll see hints for unlocking panels directly adjacent to it on all sides. And this time, each panel will unlock pictures related to the challenge. This is tougher than it looks, you know? The challenges in the 3DS are a little on the easy side, but the Wii U version challenges might be a bit trickier. Now, first off, one thing I do want to point out that's not entirely related to this picture, but he says the 3DS's, uh, their challenges are going to be a little bit easier, but the Wii U version, uh, they're going to be a little harder. Now, the main reason I think he did that wasn't so that people are, are like, you know, oh, I'm getting cocky with this game, anything like that. I think the main reason he did this was because we have to kind of get used to the 3DS controls and doing all of these challenges before uh, the Wii U version, which I know some people would easily try to do, but doing this before, uh, you know, um, the Wii U version comes out and just getting a, you know used to these controls would be kind of hard. So he's kind of giving you that little heads up, like, you know, they're going to be a little bit easier so you can really get time to get used to these, but uh, yeah. So... Of course, you look at the bottom, there are 35 pages from what it looks like of challenges, and yeah, that's a lot of content to go through. I know I unlocked all the challenges in Brawl, it took forever, and uh, yeah, but I'm looking forward to this, really cool stuff. Next up, we have got a little picture here about customization, and Sakura says customize your characters in the custom section. It sounded better to customize characters instead of fighters, so that's what we went with. There are various ways to customize, but make sure you remember to set up the powers you're bringing uh, with you before playing a round of Smash Run. So, once again, we do have customization if you're, for whatever reason, not already aware, and each bit of customization will increase or decrease specific stats. Uh, but one thing that uh, we do see here is, of course, we have the uh, four separate customization slots to go through, but it says no respawn invincibility. Now, if there's something like that, I'm almost positive no one's going to want to use that ability because that's insane. Uh, but imp improved attack in a crisis, so I'm assuming if your you know, percentage is 120, you're going to start hitting a lot harder. So, once again, customization is a welcome thing, and it will be very interesting to see. And Smash Run is a thing, but uh, we've already gotten a ton of information. So the next picture here, we have got a picture for the Wii U and Sakurai says the mysterious fighting team that appears in the Smash Bros series come in many shapes and sizes but this time uh, even we don't know what all of them will look like it's said that they copy faces from me characters saved on your systems uh, system and attack in a large throng but wait they all have big smiles on their faces looks like they're having a good time so show no mercy and launch them all away so uh, originally, we had all these weird alloy characters that were symbolic of other characters or com supposed to be comparable, like Captain Falcon, Mario, Zelda, Kirby, those those types of characters. But now we've got actual characters with faces. Uh, but he does say that we don't even know what they would look like. So what he, that could just mean okay, they're just the faces from uh, you know from your your system, your 3DS, your Wii U, whatever, or maybe it could also mean that they're randomly generated, which would be kind of funny, but uh, yeah, so just a little information, but the real thing I want to talk about today, and I will leave a link to this down below, there is a character reveal trailer, go watch it right now. Now, pause the video, I'm not even kidding about this, pause the video, go watch it, because I will be discussing it after the final picture, and I don't want to spoil the video at all for you, so pause the video right now, open a new tab, watch that character trailer, and then just hop right back to this. If you've already done that, here we go, I'm just going to talk about it, Shulk. Shulk is confirmed from the Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, Shulk joins the battle. 
He's not the type of character that would usually appear in the Smash Bros. series, but we worked really hard to make it happen. We're very happy with how it turned out. This stage is Guar Plain. Now, first off, this is amazing. I, did, I never really played the Xenoblade Chronicles, but I did have a handful of friends, friends that uh, have been into the game. Uh, but yeah, so very, very cool. He looks crisp, clean. The trailer, he's got all these kinds of powers going on. Uh, his sword changes the Monado, doing all these various things. Now, I am going to switch over to Miiverse, where this website did not have the pictures. So here it is. Miiverse, there is the first picture we had already seen. We have him with the Monado showing his hand. I don't know what all that's about, but uh, yeah. So next picture for it, Sakurai says, Shulk Sword, the Monado, slashes enemies with a beam when activated, so it can strike from long range. What really makes this weapon unique is that when the Monado arts are activated, it can change Shulk's features and abilities. Emerge victorious in battle by changing your ability strategically. Now that's very, very cool because if we do watch, once again, the um, the new character trailer, we will notice that Shulk's blade, the Monado, goes through all these different uh, Japanese logos or symbols and it adjusts his abilities. He could jump higher, he can hit harder, and that's actually what this next picture is going to talk about. But so far, his character model and the way he plays looks absolutely cool and I'm really looking forward to it. Next picture though says, list of Monado arts. Jump, he gets higher jumps but lower defense. He can change to speed for faster movement but a little bit weaker attacks. Shield, he has higher defense but he moves a bit slower. Buster, he has stronger attacks but weak launch power. And Smash, he has strong launch ability but a little bit weaker attacks with lower defense against launching. So. Obviously, all of these can use uh, strategically. Now, one thing that I would love to know, because it would be very interesting, can you switch these like mid attack or mid in the air? If so, this would be he would be an amazingly unique and awesome character. I definitely would be looking forward to that because if I had a character that was super high in the air and I couldn't quite reach them, could I? go to the jump and then once I'm at the peak of my double jump could I switch to the buster and just smack them away or same thing with uh, switch to smash and launch them away with my strong launching abilities because if I could just switch them on the dime like that I, I would love that that'd be really cool but uh, that is going to be the final picture once again the character trailer is in the description hopefully you have watched it by now now in the, in the character trailer, he did show a bit of attacks, he went through all of the uh, Monado arts it seemed, and one thing that I do want to mention at the very end of the video, once again, for whatever reason, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it right now, but uh, very, very end of the video, he's standing there in the dirt, he's got his sword in hand, and he looks up and this ship flies over him, and you hear, what are you doing here, Monado boy, or something along the lines of that. Now, the voice sounded extremely familiar, and this could have been a teaser to a possible new character. If you don't know who that is, and I, I'm 99% certain, that was Dr. Eggman from the Sonic series, from Sonic the Hedgehog. If Dr. Eggman is in this game, that would be very interesting. Now, the main reason that I'm speculating this is, one, the voice, once again, sounds very familiar. Dr. Eggman almost always has some type of ship in the game, and also, there are always villains in uh, Smash Bros. Nine times out of ten, there's a villain. Uh, the Star Fox series has Wolf, Mario has Bowser, Zelda has Ganondorf, uh, just in general, there's usually a villain. So, if Sonic has Dr. Eggman come to the game, that would be incredibly awesome, but that is going to be the final picture. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button, leave a comment down below, get involved with this discussion, and as always, once again, leave that comment down below. I want to know your thoughts about Shulk, any of the pictures of the day, and yeah. So once again, thank you all for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you all later.